Greetings summoners, Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today we'll be playing the newest champion over the public beta environment, Asir. And as always, my roots and masteries will be in the description of this video. Quickly, Team Comp is Blitzcrank we and Jinx Bot. We got Nar Top, Hecarim Jungle, and myself as a Seer mid. And our enemies are Lucian and I want to say no Gangplank Bot. Sure. We got either Jasuo mid or a Sid mid and uh, Cossack Jungle. Who knows what they'll do? Yes. Uh, so here we go, the newest champion. Pretty awesome. He has a uh, pretty different style of play from the League of Legends roster up to this point. He is a summoning type of champion, and as you can probably saw, you can saw there, the the W is the only ability you can get at level one, and that's because the other abilities only function with the W. And the W is the ability that allows you to summon. So we'll get to that in a little bit. So let's go for the first uh, ability, which is your, actually your passive. And your passive is an extremely powerful scaling passive. It allows you to gain additional attack speed for every point of cooldown reduction you get. Now this is extremely important because this guy really benefits from 40% cooldown reduction. If you get 40% cooldown reduction, it will give you a ton of attack speed, and it will synergize so well with the rest of your abilities. And the second part of the passive is you're able to sp respawn a turret once it goes down and it will function as a, as a regular turret. It will do uh, the shots and everything but it will only last up to one minute. So it can it can actually be taken down sooner than that if it gets attacked or, and all that stuff. So definitely, shut up guys. So definitely gotta, <clears throat> gotta use this passive correctly because it does cost a hefty amount of mana. Not mana, time. It has to trim, trim the cooldown on it so uh, it will be used more situational than anything. Okay, so we got gang playing mid here. That should be fun. So that's pretty much the passive, and I did build around the passive. I went for cooldown reduction quints, uh, and they're scaling. So at level 18, I'll have 15% cooldown reduction plus the 5% cooldown reduction from uh, my masteries that gives me 20, and that allows me to purchase only one cooldown reduction item to have the cap. So this is, I believe, this is gonna be a really important part of his playstyle. Either doing what I did there, or somehow get 20% cooldown reduction in uh, in in items or in, in your passive stuff but maybe not through items only one item will be enough so your next ability is your uh, well your first ability we'll talk about is sand soldiers now the sand soldiers have a couple of things that you need to know there's actually a lot of things you need to know about the sand soldiers first of all uh, they have a ammo type of system you can have up to two of them stacked up and then you can spawn them relatively fast the cooldown reduction in, in which you gain those stacks, uh, it, it does get lowered with uh, cooldown reduction items. So that's one of the reasons why it's such a good idea to stack that cooldown reduction. Uh, additional to that, they do magic damage and they, even though they don't apply on hit effects... Oh, you're going in? Okay. Even though they do not apply on hit effects, uh, they do scale with your attack speed, so that's another synergy you gain with your uh, with your passive. That gives you both the uh, attack speed synergizing with the sand soldiers and the cool direction, so you can get them faster. And they do, they deal magic damage, like I said, and they have other things you need to know. First of all, well, second of all. <laughs> They deal less damage if they hit this, the same target multiple times. So if you have like three of them out eventually, uh, and you attack the same target, only the, the first one will do its full damage and the rest will do only 25%. Now right now, I'm not completely sure, but I'm, 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 I'm almost certain that the this this is actually bugged and it's still doing a like full damage. Or there's another bug that, uh, that makes you do a crazy amount of damage, like, uh, like an insane amount, because eventually late game you can do like 1k damage per attack. Uh, th that's just way too much. Fight this. Fight it. Go, 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 go. One more. Ah, uh, we tried. We tried to. It's okay. I had to burn my flash there, sadly. Uh, that was scary, actually, now that I think about it. So, definitely a fun champion, <laughs> as you can see there. And uh, you saw me use a lot of my abilities. I'll talk about that. Uh, then, after that. Well, as you could probably saw, you can actually make them auto attack even if you're not in auto attack range. So that makes it extremely powerful for harassment, and it gives you a great amount of extra, uh, an extra range. There you go to your up to your auto attack range. Definitely a really powerful ability. 
And from there, uh, the soldiers actually scale with uh, the damage scales with level, so you don't have to put extra points into it to do more damage. And I will leave the sand soldiers at level one, and and just max my other abilities because they they are much more uh, much more useful that way. There you go, good damage in there. And uh, finally, the sand soldiers despawn at a uh, I believe ten sec nine seconds, and they despawn twice as fast to close to turrets. So if they're close to turrets, they will not uh, they will not survive as long. They will despawn even though they are invulnerable they cannot be attacked uh, they will despawn much faster so you cannot like put them down uh, behind uh, below the turrets and just do a lot of damage that way however you do are you are able to just click directly on a turret and it will do a uh, flat base damage and not spawn anything so that's actually that's actually pretty pretty interesting mechanic right there whoa that's an interesting mechanic that allows you to take down turrets pretty fast um, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to do. This guy might try and go for a kill. I'm fine. Got my ulti. There you go. And I think that's all I need to talk about this for now. I mean, there there are other thin synergies uh, that you need to know. But let's go to his Q, which I'm, I'm maxing right now, and you get a level two. The Q is a repositioning tool. The Q allows you to move your sand soldiers in a straight line from wherever they were standing to whatever you you press. There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on, dude. We got this. There we go. I leveled up. Oh, no. I didn't have a health pots for that. Oh, good. Ha. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it for that. And this, this guy is actually pretty strong. I'm going to go for... I'll talk about itemization in a little bit. I've tried a, a couple of things. Uh, but uh, let me talk about the this array. So, it gives uh, slow for one second. Decent base damage. And the, the scaling is not that great, but the ability to reposition the sand soldiers is the important thing about this. So getting the cooldown as as low as you as low as you can, and moving them around so you can deal as much damage as possible. So all the sand soldiers, wh whatever, whenever, <laughs> wherever they are standing, they will move to that to that position in a straight line, and then you can start auto attacking, and they will do a ton of damage. So I will be maxing this, Eventually, and then you got your E. Your E allows you to soldier. dash to a sand soldier. And it's pretty awesome because as you dash, as you dash, you will knock enemies up and they will do damage. Uh, the knock up is a form of crowd control, of course. Extremely important a form of crowd control. And additional to that, if you hit an enemy champion, you will gain a shield. And the shield has HP scaling on it. So what, if you build HP items, you will get much powerful, uh, much more powerful shields. But we could, like uh, that, just having scaling on your abilities is really uh, that sort of scaling is really good on any team. So that's awesome that you have it. And I maxed this second after uh, the Q. And the cooldown is actually pretty high, but it, like I said, it's an awesome repositioning tool. Now th there's a combo you can do here in which you put down a sand soldier, you move it uh, further away from you, and then you make the uh, you pop the shield. I mean, you pop the E on them, and then you will, you can travel a much further further distance than you would usually be able to if you just put down a sensor. So that's a, a, an awesome uh, combo you can do there. Really interesting. And the oh, you can see the uh, the range in which you can move the the sand soldiers is really really significant uh, with the Q. So it definitely allows for awesome positioning, and the range on this you can see it's actually pretty high. So you don't need, it's not like a small gap that you can close. You can actually travel a very long distance if you have like sand soldier, one sand soldier behind you. Uh, if you want to be like extremely safe, you can put like a sand soldier there and just do your farm and your harassment. And then if you get ganked, you, you have a, uh, a way to go back. Or you can just go like crazy like I did right there and just do a lot of damage. <laughs> and finally, you got your ultimate. Your ultimate is is is. The ultimate is pretty fun for a couple of reasons. Oh, there it is. One more. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Don't dive. Don't dive. We're fine. I got him. No, it was so close. So close. That's fine. I tried. I got. I have no ignite, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dive in. If they don't leave, I'm gonna go for a kill. Here we go. Oh, you got it. I got it, I got it, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, the minions! Keep running! Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Good dive. Good dive, holy moly. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, pretty awesome. The, this allows you to spawn a wall. You saw me there use it. 
and it will knock enemies back so that's another source of crowd control a, a, incredibly important to have another source of crowd control on your kit and it leaves a wall behind which enemies cannot pass through and they cannot even uh, dash over them the wall will actually stop them so it's really awesome for uh, zoning out opponents throughout the game and but you can pass through it and also your allies and you gain additional movement speed so it's awesome for like c kiting uh, kiting strategies and then moving your sand soldiers around the wall and just wrecking people because the sand soldiers will be doing a ton of damage while they try to reposition now right now I'm pretty sure this also has a bug in which uh, the wall does just way too much damage like way too much damage <laughs> hey dude, wanna keep fighting? Okay. There you go. That works for me. And I'm going for a kill as soon as I get my cooldowns back. We will uh, he, he actually starts off pretty weak uh, and eventually becomes a beast with his sand soldiers. I mean, he, he's, he's, uh, his power curve is just whacked. It starts really bad and then he just becomes a God, he could destroy anyone later on in the game. All he needs to do is keep his distance uh, long enough to do his thing, and then nobody can really stop him. There's there's very little counterplay once he gets like 40% cool reduction and a, ta and a ton of attack speed, and you get tanky. If you get tanky enough, you can survive through through their damage, and your sand soldiers will de decimate everyone. Like right there. I, right now, I have enough cool reduction and attack speed and mana to be spamming my sand soldiers and so many people out. Repositioning over and over again. Definitely, definitely a fond champion. Now, at itemization, there are a couple of things that are important. I already talked about having that 20% cool deduction based uh, on your uh, your quint. However, you want to do it, but based on your roots and masteries, you should definitely have 20% cool deduction so you can just purchase one cool deduction item and just be at cap. That's that's the the important thing. And I decided to go for these uh, cool deduction scaling. Uh, quints. I believe that those are the best, uh, the best strategy you can do, and just get the masteries. Let's do damage to turn directly. There it is. Just doing the, my damage. Uh, if you if you do spend your stacks that way, you are really vulnerable. So it's not a good idea to do it if the jungler could get. You. But I did it there so to show you the power. Okay. There we go. My sensor right now is is telling me that it's actually gonna despawn faster. Because it did get the, it has like a exclamation point on top of it. Uh, so I did uh, the core item I decided to build on this guy is the <coughs> uh, what's it called? I forget. <laughs> the Nasher's Tooth. Now the Nasher's Tooth gives you everything you could possibly want. It gives you attack speed, gives you cool deduction, which gives you even more attack speed. Oh, he flashed away. That's all good. Gives you the additional attack speed uh, and just gives you everything you want. Oh, nice, nice knife. So good. Gives you everything you want. Basically, this item is is what you want. If you saw me there, use the combo to uh, travel uh, further further distance. Really powerful, as you can see. Let's go for this guy. We can probably kill him. Oh no, couldn't get him. Let's go back. And then you need to uh, you need to address your lack of tankiness and your mana cost. So I I have tried getting a tier of the goddess, and that definitely works really well. Just get an early tier of the goddess, and then and you can definitely definitely hold your ground uh, mana wise. However, I did find out that you are extremely squishy. So if they have like a lot of assassins or gap closers, or just champions that can get on top of you, and and since part of your kit part of your damage need m makes you be in the middle of the fight because the wall doesn't really have that long ra cast range you need some tankiness so the way I, I fix that is by getting a rod of ages so your core build is a Nasher's tooth and a rod of ages in my opinion gives you everything you want additional scaling on your shield with the additional HP more just general tankiness and awesome lane sustain um, good amount of mana so you can you, you can spam your, your your abilities quite quite a bit I mean they don't really have extremely high mana cost but you will be spamming them a lot specifically because you have 40% cool deduction but yeah so far I've, I've, I see this working really well and you could potentially just skip getting the uh, skip getting the the Nasher's Tooth and go for an Athenes and get your cool deduction that way but in my opinion it's just much better to get the Nasher's Tooth uh, we'll eventually we'll see what people come up with and if it's good enough 
Uh, this build so far has worked pretty well. I, I, okay, here we go for a dive. Oh, so good. There you go. That's a kill right there. Let's kill this guy. You going in for the kill? Oh, you're dead, dude. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, I, I messed up the wall. No, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's it's so good. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Go back, go back. Careful. There we go. Yeah, yeah the freaking sand soldiers. You, you just gotta don't notice them and they're just destroying you in the meantime. So you gotta be careful with that. So I didn't do a, a really well a really well executed combo there. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, so good. Oh, never mind. He got away. I mean, he's doing what I'm doing. Okay, oh, he just spawned a... Oh no, you knocked him away, dude! I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead! No! No! <laughs> Jinxie! There it goes, the turret. I'm gonna spawn my own. And like I said, it's just really good because when you're trying to dive, he puts that thing up and like three seconds later, he starts doing a ton of damage. Let's get this thing. I love two boots. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's get the... Start working on that Nashers too. Raw Bages, I got one for Raw Bages because you know it does have excellent you, it skills with, with time, so you gotta get it as soon as you can. And the Fringe Codex early on actually gives you really you decent stats, so I, I got that first, then the Catalyst, and then finish Raw Bages, then finish the Nashers Tooth. That's pretty much what I, I've, I've been tinkering with so far. Man, I died two times and only four assists, so I gotta, I gotta step up my game here. The other Asir is doing really well. Four, three kills so far. Here we go. Punch him, punch him! There we go, that's good, that's good. Knock him up. Or kill him, that's fine. And you are much more powerful when you have people distracting the enemy and then you can put down your sand soldiers behind and then put them all forward. Let me show you this. If, if you're like, you have your sand soldiers from the back you can put him all the way to the front. Look at that. That is extremely powerful. Allows for awesome, awesome. And it, when your team initiate, that allows you for a freaking crazy game. Play. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, he got away. So good. Let's go mid. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, this game is in the bag. And you probably know this. I've said it a million times. But when it's PvE, I mean, don't expect high level play or anything. We're just playing here to showcase the champion. And right now, I'm pretty sure he's buggy. Uh, he will probably get a ton of tweaks and fixes and stuff. But this is, this is basically the general feeling you'll get from the champion. Oh, dude. Everyone go back, please. Whoa! Yeah, that, I was dead in there, anyways. Yeah. Go, team, go! Oh, nice, nice hook there. Get him, get him. He's dead. Turret, man, get the turret! The turret, there it is. Good job, he's dead. One more attack. Oh, the oh, Jinx ulti, perfect. Perfectly executed. Nicely done. And yeah, I got a little bit too cocky there. So you, you definitely want to spawn your, uh, your soldiers on, uh, either in front, of course, but if you put them in the back and the enemy cannot see them like straight up, and you can charge them all to the front and start doing a crazy amount of damage if you have like a really good strong initiator. That's a really good strategy. And the other is just start withering down your opponent by poking them. Put them throwing down the sand soldier, uh, on attack, do a Q, and just do that way. In that way, try and wither them down and punch them. Nicely done. On my way team. And right now, I have tankiness. I have almost two, almost 2k HP, which is not bad for a mid laner. Let's see what the other Asir is building. He's going for an Athens. And also a Nashers too, which in my opinion is a waste because he does not have uh, cool reduction in his runes and masteries. Uh, he's just wasting, wasting a lot of stats there. There you go, pull him, pull him. Ah, oh, let's spawn the turret down. No, oh, what are you doing? Not going there. There we go, got one. Oh god, another one. That's the that's the bug I'm talking about. That's that's just way too much damage. There you go. Go Jinxie! No, you got it, you got it. 
Where are you going, boy? Oh, perfect. Oh, my kid. So, that did too much damage, in my opinion. That That's kind of buggy. So, definitely gotta, <laughs> gotta fix that, right? Too much damage. I mean, that's OP. But hey, it's all good. I mean, I, I believe that the bug that people are talking about right now is you get, gain additional damage on your sand soldiers if you use your ultimate. Which is kind of weird. I mean, why would you... That doesn't, doesn't state that anywhere in... Doesn't state that anywhere in the in the tooltip or anything like that. I think that's just, just a simple bug. Okay. <laughs> Take the right the wrong sand soldier. Run, GC, run. So good. Do my match natural steam damage. And from here I'm probably gonna build I wanna build a death cap. Even though they have a lot of AD. You know what? This game I'm gonna go for an hourglass. It's gonna work really well. I'll get that hourglass too. So yeah, you gotta build him kind of like you build a swain, uh, but you get like a rod of ages instead of getting uh, instead of rushing the hourglass, you rush a natural tooth, but you get your rod of ages. You generally, play him like you play play a swain. Wait for your cooldowns, go in there, do your damage, go back. Uh, yeah. Oh, Blitzy! Oh, nice try, Blitzy. Oh, uh, the sand soldiers do not apply on hit effects, so crystal scepter does not work. Yeah, on their on their attacks, which is a shame, but it's actually quite balanced. Imagine if this they could slow you down as they're hitting you. That that would be kind of OP. Or maybe they'll fix that later on. Who knows? Maybe that's a bug. So right now I got 36.67 full reduction, and as soon as I hit level 18, I'll have that at 40%. I don't have a lot of AP. Uh, of course, I could have rushed like like a. Uh, the death cap and all that stuff, but not really worth it. Oh, oh hello! Nice pull there. Oh, my bad. That's fine, I'm gonna get a couple kills here. Great, whoop. Whatever. There we go, tons of kills. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, another kill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're still here. And yeah. Let's kill this. Oh, whoa, the gangplank. Let's see if we can actually get away from him. There it is. Dashing over the wall. Pretty solid. Pretty solid ability right there. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, I did hit him, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Keep going, Nar. Take this thing. Good job. He has a lot of mobility, and like I said, he wants to be in the middle of the fights uh, alongside his sand soldiers. So definitely a good idea to get that tankiness. Let's go top, man. They're gonna respawn, and we won't be able to do anything there. Lives in me. Let's take this turret out and put our own turret. Come on, hurry up. No, why are you attacking me? There, is. there, is no so, there we go. It does a lot of damage. Look at that. So good. It, right now it's 400, 440 plus 122 damage. Pretty significant source of turret kill. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't get it back. Get out of there fast enough. Now, th that, that's it, something important. You are able to do that combo fast, but not really fast because it does have a sort of uh, delay on the spawn. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Uh, on this, when you spawn a sand soldier, it has a small delay and you cannot cast abilities immediately. You need to wait a little bit. Yeah, nice. Burn, burn a lot of gold for him. Why not? You guys need to take another turret. Let's go kill the gangplank again. Okay, that, that, he's dead. Yeah, we can, yeah. Look at that. That's just way too much damage, I, and I'm pretty sure it's it's not because of. I mean, the sand soldiers are bugged. I'm I'm completely sure now. It's too much damage. Run away, dude. I'm gonna go defend top. Screw and go mid. We're much much more powerful than they are right now. So. Okay, we're fine. Ooh, nicely done. Nar. Let's see if he's, if he's right here in this brush. Oh, keep going. No, he's gone. Oh, the sand soldiers also give you vision, which is... <laughs> a lot of things, they do a lot of things, and this this is pretty much what you want. Uh, and uh, a lot of considerations and quality of life uh, additions to your abilities. That, that's extremely important that you have. You're pushing mid now. I'll, I'll just keep pushing top for the time being. Yeah, because you guys are dead. There you go. They do line AOE damage as well, so you could 
you can pretty much guess that you can decimate and opponents easily. So one of the play styles is trying to be be we in the back and just to position choices. sand soldiers, but you miss a lot of your DPS. So that's when you go tanky once again. I, I'll keep saying that because it's true. Oh, get him, get him! I want that for us. Got him. There it is. Down. Keep going. There it is. Go for another kill. Oh, I couldn't get the slow there. Sorry. I failed. But that's a kill anyway. Yeah, so good. It's so good, but it's bad. <laughs> it's, let's end the game, guys. I think that's enough to showcase the champion. I'll, I'll probably play him top lane because I'm pretty sure he can play top lane. And not only top lane, I'm pretty sure he can play jumper as well. So, we'll see. If you guys want to see that, I'll do it. Trying to finish this. Okay, let's go back. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah, yeah, let's go back. He's coming for me. Um, I am able to kill him though. There it is. Now we, we can keep uh, being annoying here. There we go, knock up. He's dead. Oh, look at the damage. That's, that's three of those. There we go, that's another kill. Fine. Stop hitting me, minions! There we go. Tons of damage. I love it. I love the champion. It's too bad. <laughs> Again, he is bugged. I'm completely sure about this now. Just too much power. Oh, the troll inhibitor. Troll inhibitor, my friends. There we go. So that's gonna be game. Hopefully you enjoyed guys, and I'm, if this guy has his bugs fixed and stuff, it's going to make it a lot more fun to play, uh, and play against him as well. But right now, kind of weird. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and make sure, make sure to subscribe for that top lane video, and probably jungle video, and all, all the new League of Legends content. Invader Sive, signing out.